from Peninsula TV Studios in San Carlos, SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, Wells Fargo, and Oracle present this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you very much. Welcome to Quiz Kids, the show where some of the best and brightest high schoolers in the Bay Area use speed, knowledge, and collaboration for a chance to win some terrific prizes. And we have two terrific teams for you today. Over here from San Francisco, Archbishop Reardon's Crusaders. <laughs> here from Cupertino, Monte Vista High School's Matadors. So let's get started as we always do with the collaboration round. Welcome, gentlemen, to our show. In this first round, you will play as a team. I have a series of 10-point questions here. I will ask your team a question, and then I will ask you to collaborate for a few seconds, and then your captain, Nick, or Alex, will give me the answer you think is correct. If you give me the right answer, you score the points. If you give me the wrong answer, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you. We'll go back and forth until the buzzer signals the end of the first round. Good luck to both teams. And Archbishop Reardon gets the first question. Though 18th century American John Chapman planted herbs on his long trip throughout the country, he is far more famous for planting the seeds of what fruit? The apple. The apple. Johnny Appleseed, that's right. <laughs> Metadors, solve for x in the equation. 8x plus 9 equals 16x minus 3. Three halves. That is right for 10 points. Okay, Crusaders, angioplasty is a medical procedure involving the inflation of a small balloon inside your body to open up what kind of muscular tubes which carry blood away from the heart? Arteries. That's right for 10 points. Monte Vista, according to Scientific American's website in 2004, more than half of the world's energy from eating food comes from one of four crops. Name any three of these four popular foods. Rice? That's oh, one. Oh, sorry. Rice, corn, and wheat? And potatoes, you got it. Regular season baseball matches have four umpire, umpires officiating, but how many are there throughout the playoffs? There are six. That's right, six. <laughs> Early manuscripts indicate that his first name might have been Sharonford. What famous fictional crime fighter known for his powers of logic and deduction took up residence under his rightful name at 221B Baker Street? Sherlock Holmes? That's right, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. The two diagonals of a square are each eight inches long. Calculate the area of the square. Hold on. <laughs> what plus what equals 64? <laughs> I'm checking the area. I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. 32. That's right. Oh. <laughs> I kind of thought you forgot me, but you got it. 11 years after Simon Bolivar established Gran Colombia in 1819, it had broken into three separate nations. Name either of the two present day countries besides Colombia that made up Gran Colombia. Uh, Venezuela and Ecuador? You got them both, that's right. <laughs> this story is a reflection of the author's pessimistic views of civilization as shown through the actions of Piggy, Jack, and Ralph. Name this novel by William Golding about savage schoolboys. 
Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies? Lord of the Flies is a different kind of book. Yes, Lord of the Flies. I'll give it to you. Yes. Yay! Lord of the Fries has to do with McDonald's and savagery. Yeah, right, mad cow disease. <laughs> Charles Schumer is up for re-election in 2004 as a U.S. senator from what eastern state whose other senator is Hillary Clinton? New York. That's right, New York. Oh, we did very well this first round. Let's look at the score. It's 50-50. <laughs> We seem to have two very strong teams here today, and let's meet them after we come back from these messages, so don't go away. I'd like to invite you to come down to our studio one of these Saturdays and watch us tape a show. It's a lot of fun. All you have to do is call 650-637-1936 and we will send you tickets. Welcome Archbishop Reardon and Nick Mann, Captain Junior. Junior is a always a difficult year, a very academic year, and you're taking a couple of very interesting AP courses that aren't offered at a lot of high schools, but Reardon offers them. AP European History, and AP Environmental Science. Yes. That's one I'd never heard of. So what do you guys study in, in AP Environmental uh, Science? Right now we're studying biodiversity. And what is biodiversity? It's uh, diversity of species. Diversity of species. So what are some of the things that have come up that you, I know you talked about, you're trying to solve some of the problems that have come up. Yeah, uh, well one of, one of our solutions we were thinking of getting all of America to pray really hard so that God could create some more species for us. <laughs> Archbishop Reardon, that, that seems like a, a natural solution to come out of your school. You also play guitar. I do. You play Led Zeppelin. I do. How do you think God feels about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure as long as you play it forwards and not backwards, he's okay with it. <laughs> okay. Claudio Innocente. Hello. Claudio, you're a senior. Yep. And until 10 years ago, you were born and raised in Italy. Yeah, that's right. You grew up in Tuscany. You go back every summer. What is it like in Tuscany? It's uh, really beautiful, a lot of vineyards, a lot of beaches, so it's always uh, really fun to go there. That sounds very nice. And you plan to make your career in the Army. Yes, that's right. Well, I wish you all the best with that. Anthony Garcia, you're also a senior and the student body president. Correct. I understand you squeaked by a victory by seven votes. Right. And who's the loser that you won against? This good-looking guy right here. Yeah. 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 Man, if you hadn't been hanging out on the beaches of Tuscany and working more on your speech, maybe you would have won. Um, you uh, run a talk show yeah, every correct. couple of weeks. Yes. At, uh, there's a closed circuit mm -hmm. at Weirden, and um, you discuss current events. Yes, we do. Questions, Related comments, to the school. Concerns of the school, of the what students. What was the one of the big, 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 big breaking stories that went yeah, on There recently. was a big one uh, that the faculty had a problem with, and it was scuff marks in the sophomore hallway. Scuff marks scuff in the scuff sophomore marks, hallway? Yeah. That's, that's scandalous. Yes, it is. It is. We have to put a stop to this, Brad. Have you, I, I hope that the solutions are forthcoming. Good luck to you there. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Christy Mann. I, I'm hearing Led Zeppelin backwards in my head. Someone stop me. All right. The, Monta the Matadors can stop me from Monta Vista. Alex Cohn. Yes. Welcome. Junior. You are a writer on the school paper. Yes, that's right. And you have an interesting beat. You write about the school's urban legends. Yes, I research them and try to find out if they're true or not. Some of them are pretty risque. We can't even talk about them on a family show. <laughs> yes, that's right. I didn't know that, but tell me one that we can discuss. Uh, there was a conspiracy theory by some people that uh, there were antennas blocking cell phone reception, so I found out that one was false. That one was false. Yes. So people can now sneak around with their cell phones comfortably. Exactly. Well, good. Yes. You want to write when you get out of school? Yes, definitely. Oh, good luck to you with that. Oja Sangha Mishwara. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you're a junior and you're a member of the school's club, the California Young Democrats. Yeah. What do you do? Well, our uh, really our only formal meeting, we watch the famous or infamous clip of John Stewart on Crossfire. So you watch The Daily Show? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. <laughs> And, um, and, well, how sad, <laughs> because here we are, you know, a few months later, and yeah. there we go. All right. You also work with something called the Link Crew. What um, does the Link Crew do? Yeah, uh, it's the, the upperclassmen of the school who have been here all three or four years. They, the, before, the, before school starts, we take the freshmen around, and we just show them the school, and then we meet with them monthly, mm -hmm. and then we just 
do activities with them, try to get them comfortable. Well, that is great because freshmen do get a little scared at the beginning and it's nice to ease their, their fears. Good for you. Chris Moe, sophomore. Yep. Youngest member here, so you can be excused for being a part of the California Young Republican Club. <laughs> now, what do you guys do? Um, we, every, every week we meet and discuss different political events and such. Mm -hmm. We recently uh, did campaigning for George W. Bush in the recent election, mm -hmm. and we do precinct walks, and we're planning to do some uh, registering to vote in the coming months. So for you register people to citizens. vote, you do precinct work, you do, um, you, you, you work for your candidates, mm -hmm. and you guys watch The Daily Show. Yeah. <laughs> this could explain the November election right here, yeah. in a nutshell. Let's give a big hand for your coach, Mr. Ed Puccinelli. And oh, he's standing there with his giant gavel ready to club me senseless. Our judge, Mr. Frank Sabote. <laughs> Frank, that does not scare me. I'm sorry. We will be back to watch the second round of Quiz Kids after these words. Put your hands on your buzzers, guys. It's time to play the lightning round. The questions are still valued at 10 points. I will ask a question, and the first person to buzz in with one of those buzzer boxes over there will get a chance to answer for your team. Give me the right answer, and you score 10 points. Give me the wrong answer, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you. If you buzz in before I complete the and you will have to answer with the information you've been given so far. And if you give me the wrong answer, I will complete the question for the other team. We are 50 to 50. Close game, two good teams. Good luck, gentlemen. Here's your first question. Leading the unification of Germany, what member of the Prussian nobility was named the chancellor? Yes, Claudio. Otto von Bismarck? That is correct. Give the English translation of the Spanish word caja. Boss? That's right, Ojis. The process of photosynthesis converts carbon dioxide and water into what two products? Uh, Chris? Glucose and oxygen. That is right. On the sitcom Frasier, which left, I'm sorry, on the sitcom Frasier, which left TV's primetime airways in 2004, what city in the Pacific North, yes, Alex? Seattle? That's correct. As the Republicans tried to get a candidate for the 2004 U.S. Senate race in Illinois, they almost succeeded in getting what former coach of the Chicago... B Mike yes. Ditka. That's right, Ojas. Sharing his last name with a recent Hugh Jackman character named the doctor who helps Jonathan and Ina Harker... Yes, Anthony. Van Helsing. That's right. In music, if the written note G has two flat signs next to it, what note should you actually play? Nick. F. Right. What country's Euro coins have a picture of its Queen Beatrix? I'm sorry, it's too late. Holland or the Netherlands. He had only one eye because he gave his other eye away for a drink from the Fountain of Wisdom. Named as Norse god of the sky for whom the day Wednesday is named. We're looking for Odin. Calculate the largest integer value of x that satisfies the equation 6x minus 8 is less than 45. 6. That's not correct, Ojis. You guys can steal. I don't know. 8? Two. Two. Nick, say the word. 8. That's right. 9. Listen to your team, boy. Thank you. Once called the Deseret. What U.S. city has cities that include Logan, Ogden, Cedars? Yes, Anthony. Utah? That's right. In 1944, the World Series was held entirely at Sportsman's Park. Yes, Anthony. St. Louis? No, I'm sorry. I need more than that. St. Louis, Missouri? No. Uh, it was held entirely at Sportsman's Park because the Browns played what other team that now plays at Bush Stadium? St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals? That's right. 
What movie director announced in September 2004 that there will not be nine as originally planned? George e Lucas. That's right, Claudio. He became Duke of Muscovy at age three, but his later insanity that included killing his heir, Dmitri, led to a time of troubles. Name the 16th century Russian czar. Claudio. Ivan the Terrible? You got it. Its author describes the town of Siget and the figure of Moshe the Beetle with whom he studies the Kabbalah. In what book does Elie Wiesel... Yes, Nick? Night. You got it. In 1927, American architect Buckminster Fuller developed the Dymaxion made out of aluminum for temporary use in the USSR. It was intended to be a futuristic style of what kind of building? Alex? Geodesic dome? No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. You can steal Crusaders. Sports stadium. We're looking for the word house. Oh. <laughs> Solve for x in the equation log to the base x of 343 equals 3. 7. Ogis, that is absolutely right. And that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score. Reardon has 130, Monte Vista 110. Matadors, you are trailing by 20 points, but won't it be nice to know that in the next round the point value will double to 20. Let's see what happens when we come back after these words. Welcome back. It's time to play the Extreme Lightning Round. Play stays the same, gentlemen. Point values double to 20. Good luck. What American author married his wife Estelle in 1929, less than four months before publica publication of his novel, The Sound and the Fury? It's a great novel. I hope you read it. William Faulkner. A movie set in medieval Europe where someone is seen driving a car would be considered an anachronism. Spell the word anachron... Yes, Nick? A-N-A-C-R-O-N-I-S-M. I'm Anachronism. sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal, Matadors. A-N-A-C-H-R-O-N-I-S-M. Uh, yes! Naphthalene, such as that in mothballs, can do well as well at, can do this as well as carbon dioxide. What is the term for the conversion of an element or substance from solid state directly to gaseous phase with no liquid stage? Yes, Alex. Sublimation. That's right. In September 2004, Oprah Winfrey gave brand new cars to 276 of her audience members. The sales tax of which was paid by what car manufacturer? Pontiac. That's right, Ogis. My producer should take note. We all want a car. In 1985, Monica Seles became the youngest to be named Sportswoman of the Year in what former Balkan nation that now exists as several countries, including Serbia and Montenegro? Yes, Claudio. Yugoslavia? That's right. What word is used to describe a man whose wife has died? Anthony. Widower. Correct. The didgeridoo is a native musical instrument of what country? Yes, Nick. Australia. That's correct. Italy, German, I'm sorry, Italy, Japan, and Germany at the time of World War II were involved in an alliance known as what? Anthony. Axis of evil. No. Oh, Dude. wait. Oh. <laughs> Judge, what do you say? Uh, he's, well, he feels that way too. The Axis powers, yes. Axis of evil, wow. Okay. In the play, Romeo and Juliet, give the last word of Juliet's line, parting is such sweet. Yes, Nick. Sorrow. That's correct. <laughs> If you roll three six-sided dice at the same time, what is the probability that all three dice will show a one? A oh, one in 216. That's right, Ogis. What African country built many of its towns along the Nile River between Aswan, yes, Alex. Egypt. Correct. What NBA team selected Connecticut star Amika, yes, Anthony. Uh, Charlotte Bobcats. Right. During 2004, Rush Limbaugh began playing the Mighty Mouse theme, Here I Come to Save the Day, whenever he had news from what about what polit politician's presidential campaign? John Kerry. Yes, so just, but you were watching The Daily Show. <laughs> it was an extension of the Canada-U.S. Agreement of 1989. What economic program signed by Bill Clinton in 1993 added Mexico and his... Yes, Alex? NAFTA? 
anything else you want to tell me? NAFTA free trade agreement? I'm sorry, I can't accept that. The common abbreviation is NAFTA. Can you tell me what this program was called? You the heard. North American Free Trade Agreement? That's right. Chronic bronchitis may cause a condition known as cyanosis. When your skin turns what color? Blue. That's right, Ogis. Jack Dawkins, who led Fagan's gang of child thieves in, Al in Oliver Twist, was better known by what name? It was the Awful Dodger, mate. Andre Volkonsky and Sergei Prokofiev were all were both 20th century composers from what country? Yes, Alex. Russia. That's right. Mike Fluff Cowan enjoys a six-figure income being employed by Jim Furyk. What term is used to describe the person who carries? Yeah. And you know he makes more than I do. I That's right, Ogis. Unlike Susan B. Anthony, who voted in 1872, this woman could not because she was being imprisoned for indecency. Name this woman, the first who ran for U.S. president in 1872. Yes, Elizabeth Cady Stanton. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Clara Barton. Victoria Woodhull. Oh, that signals the end of the game. Let's look at the score. 270 over to Reardon, but with 290, Monte Vista wins the game. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, you were terrific. Have a great year. We'll see you guys in the second round. We'll see all of you back here at Quiz Kids real soon. Bye-bye. The following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC. The San Mateo Credit Union. Wells Fargo and Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers and the Berlin Game Scottish Rider Freemasonry.